Okay, guys, look, welcome back. <clears throat> um, I just got off work. Um, shout out to Ben, my supervisor, uh, for letting me um, take off early so I can get home to try to uh, take care of this issue that I'm having with these girls in the grow tent. I don't know if you guys can see me. Maybe you can see me a lot better now. Um, I was thinking on it today, and I was going over my notes while I was sitting at a shipper uh, getting loaded, and I thought about something, um, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. This is actually great for um, actually like um, disinfecting things, and it works great for plants. This is not organic. Uh, it is a chemical, but as the um, it is approved for organic um, use usage in your garden. In, in your garden, I'm sorry. Also, um, hydrogen peroxide is what H2O, O2 which is pretty much nothing but water and oxygen. But as this uh, peroxide breaks down in the soil, we're gonna use it to drench the soil. Um, as it breaks down in the soil, it turns into an oxygen, which provides um, oxygen, of course, to the roots of the plants. And I was thinking about it earlier today while I was sitting at the shipper and I was like, man, you know, maybe that's, you know, I, it, it's a lot of things that I have not done during this grow that I used to do in my past grows, well, that I have done in my past grows that I've just totally forgotten about. And it does happen, you know what I mean? I'm so psyched up on these videos and all this type of stuff here that I forgot about the basics and what I usually do. So um, we're gonna use this hydrogen peroxide because I could have an issue where I'm getting root rot with certain plants like this Girl Scout Cookies Extreme right here which is causing her to have a nutrient lockout and not be able to uptake nutrients. And that's the reason why she's having a discoloration, um, which I believe is potassium. Also with this Girl Scout cookies extreme back here too, she's starting to develop a lot more of those spots, the leaf tip burning, especially like right there. You can see it starting on her as well. Um, along with the Bruce banners, um, this Bruce banner is doing it as well. So um, I'm almost positive that this is potassium, um, that the plants are lacking potassium. And part of the reason is um, because the roots are not absorbing the nutrients that's in the soil because of whatever reason. It could be because um, like the bacteria that I was telling you guys about or the fungicide that I was telling you guys about. Well, we noticed it on the top of the plants uh, affecting the leaves on the top of the plants. But what we did not think about, what I did not think about was the roots in the soil that could come from this different soil medium that I'm using. It could come from the organic uh, nutrients that I put into the soil because uh, these are dry amendments. So, and bacteria will get in and set up and, and, and things like that. You add a little water, a little heat, a um, little humidity or whatever, and those little bacterial spores and fungal spores start popping like popcorn and they spread everywhere. So with this, um, with this hydrogen peroxide, once we spray it into the soil, it will work its way to the roots and it will eat up any bacteria or any fungicide that's going on. Now, one thing that the peroxide does, I believe is going to eat up a lot of my microbial life too. Microbial life is, um, is microbes basically that's what it is and all of these things work to break down nutrients in the soil and to communicate back and forth to the plant through the root system so um well my wife is hollering for my son he's not here sorry for that guys but i'm gonna show you the mixture um it's really nothing um it's it's actually two gallons of water and i use five tablespoons of um of um hydrogen peroxide also we're going to top dress with some worm castings um to try to get some of those nutrients back into the soil uh and some of that microbial life back into the soil this hydrogen peroxide is also good for um killing any kind of uh unwanted pests like white flies fungus gnats all of those type of things it will get rid of those so um what we're going to do, we're going to get right to it because this light is going to go out at 4 o'clock and then it comes back on at 10, 10 o'clock at night. It's on the 18 hours on, 6 hours off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, pause this video. I'll come back 
I'm gonna go ahead and spray them down and I'll come back. Also guys, we added the drip trays too. Um, I don't know if you guys can see them, but we added the drip trays. So any water runoff that we have, we're just gonna let it stay in there and the, and the um, it'll be absorbed back through the holes in the bottom of the pots and back up into the soil. So without further ado, um, I'll be right back. <laughs> 